He'd be looking at Horvat and Boffy to perhaps get through as two of those three non-automatic qualifying spots. They were convincing heat winners. Kandasun and look good though in the heats as well. So too did Hoffman. It's Horvat who gets to the front, works the way around. And it's Horvat in the lead. Kandasunan and Boffy, that's the one, two, three at the moment. Arthur Kerry coming up on the outside though, very quickly to get up on the shoulder of Horvat. But it was 29.50, so a little bit slower than the first heat, by about half a second. Well, Bartha Keddy isn't hanging around at all. Improved her personal best to 201.95 this year. It's really laying down the law to Anita Horvat on her inside, and Kerry now heading heading for home. 60.91. So about two seconds outside the pace from the first race. Difficult to see the non-automatic qualifiers coming from this race at the moment Isabel Boffi really needs to start getting up there now it's Arthur Kerry, Horvat and Kandasunan at the moment and Kerry still pushing the pace towing the rest of the field around as they hit the bell Boffi now starting to move up on the outside the Britons gone past Kandasunan now starting to reel in Horvat. Horvat now starting to stride out as well. They're trying to get up on the shoulder of Kerry. This is going to be a fascinating final 100 meters. Horvat now heading to the front. Oh, God, he's tripping up over the heels of Kerry, but she's managing to stay upright. Horvat on the front. It's all sorts of drama going on there. Now Bobby going backwards as Hoffman comes through quickly, but it's going to be Horvat, Hoffman, and on the inside, it looks like Quaro found a bit of space and got through for that third automatic qualifying place. Well, 2.03.12 unofficially. It's just going to be the first three home that get through to tomorrow's final. And it is indeed Horvat, 2.03.11. Just holding off the fast finishing. Laura Hoffman at 2.03.19. Quaro taking third.